In this video, we'll explain the Mohs surgery process, how to prepare, and what to expect. This is general information that is common to the majority of cases, but there may be additional instructions from your care team depending on individual circumstances, such as the size of the affected area, location of the lesion, and patient health. Mohs surgery is a technique to totally remove skin cancer in stages to preserve the maximum amount of healthy tissue with the least scarring. This procedure was developed by Dr. Frederick Mohs at the University of Wisconsin many years ago and remains the most effective way to treat skin cancer. The more common types treated by Mohs surgery include basal cell and squamous cell carcinoma. It's important to understand that this process is different than a biopsy, which only takes a small sample of a lesion or tumor for diagnosis. The goal of Mohs surgery is to remove the entire cancerous area by cutting under and around the cancerous tissue. I see it right there. I'll have the first step is for you to make sure you have examined and identified the affected area before you come to the clinic. Once you arrive, it's important for you and your surgeon to agree on the location of the lesion and review the procedure before we start the removal process. One reason for this careful discussion is that the extent of the skin cancer may not be obvious due to cells well below the skin surface. It's also possible that some healing from the lesion or biopsy may have occurred, making the affected area less obvious. Our goal is to make sure you are clear about and comfortable with the surgical plan. At each stage, all removed tissue is examined in the lab to determine whether cancer is present. If abnormal or cancer cells are detected, another stage of removal occurs, followed again by lab analysis. At each stage, we're looking for healthy tissue, which indicates that the cancer cells have been removed successfully. Once it's determined to move forward with Mohs surgery, you should schedule a day and time that does not require you to go back to work or to other appointments the same day. This is because the exact length of time needed for the procedure can't be determined in advance and could take all of the day. You should avoid planning the surgery too closely around activities such as vacations, weddings, photos, athletic events, and family functions. You may wish to plan for several days of recuperation before engaging in these events. This is recommended because fatigue and activity restrictions while the wound is healing are such important considerations. Also, some surgeries may be on the face or head which affect your appearance when bandaged. Time and proper care will result in the best healing. Otherwise, you should schedule the surgery as soon as your biopsy results are available to the Mohs Surgery Clinic. Relatives or friends may come with you to the appointment but must stay in the waiting room during the procedure. Depending on the location of the lesion, it may be suggested that you have a driver. If it's near the eye, the bandage area may affect your sight. If it's on your foot, it may be difficult for you to operate the floor pedals on your car. You may also consider that fatigue or discomfort from the day will be a factor. In all these cases, a driver may be recommended. On the day of the surgery, you should eat and drink normally, including breakfast on the day of the procedure. You should also take all regularly prescribed medications. On the day of the surgery, wear loose-fitting, comfortable clothes. If the lesion is on your face, don't wear makeup. Bring a list of current medications, any present health issues, and your health history, including any implanted devices such as a pacemaker. If your primary provider has authorized any relaxation or anti-anxiety medicine, bring it along to take it to the Mohs Surgery Clinic. Do not take it at home. After you check in at the front desk, we'll escort you to a procedure room where a member of the care team will clean and numb your skin with a local anesthetic. You doing all right? I'm doing fine, thank you. Once the tissue is completely numb, the surgeon will use a scalpel to remove the affected tissue. After each removal stage, we'll bandage the wound and you'll go out to the waiting area. At this time, the staff in the Mohs laboratory will process the tissue and your surgeon will examine it under a microscope. This may take 60 to 90 minutes. After each stage, you'll be called back to the procedure room for either the next stage of removal or the closing of the wound. 
Once all the cancer cells have been removed, your surgeon will speak with you to determine what is best for healing. This often includes healing naturally or closing with stitches. In some cases, we may use same-day techniques in our clinic, such as a skin flap or a skin graft. A few special cases may involve a referral to a plastic surgeon. Stitches may need a return clinic visit for removal. We hope this video has helped you feel more prepared and relaxed for the day of your Mohs surgery. Almost all cases are resolved on one day with patients leaving the clinic cancer-free. If you have more questions before, during, or after the surgery, your care team is available to answer them. In summary, key points to remember from this video are be prepared for the surgery day by wearing comfortable clothing and making arrangements for a driver if needed. Eat normally and take all regular medications on the day of the surgery. Bring your medical history to the appointment. Be prepared to identify the site needing treatment. Plan to stay at the clinic all day to accommodate the removal stages of the Mohs process and probable repair of the surgery site. Please watch our other videos talking about post-surgery wound care that address the healing process and activity restrictions.